Happy anniversary to us! Ooh. What are we gonna do today, Scrimpy? Shopping. <laughs> but the good kind of shopping that you like to do. So it we don't normally do anything super big for our anniversary unless we happen to plan like our yearly vacation around it, like we did a couple years ago when we went to Disney. Um, but I just like doing chill stuff. So today we are doing something, we're like throwing it back to OG Miley and Eric. We used to do stuff like this all the time. This was both of our like favorite kind of date, if you will. What did we do, Scrimpy? We would just spend time together, kind of chill, go different places, walk around. No agenda, yeah. no to-do list. Just like go, hey, you want to pop in here? Okay, sure. Let's pop in here. See what the day holds. Yeah. So something new we're trying that we've actually never done together is we're going estate sailing. I'm very excited about this. And our first stop is a house in Nichols Hills, which is a richy rich neighborhood of Oklahoma City. So, and we're also gonna hit up some antique stores. We might go to Target, Lowe's, I don't know. We'll just see where the wind takes us. So come along with us as we have a cute date day to celebrate our seventh anniversary of being married. Oh. Can't believe we've been married for seven years. That's crazy. I can. <laughs> uh, that is so mean. Tell the people in retribution what your favorite thing about being married to me is. Go ahead. Um, you're very clean. That's your favorite <laughs> thing about being married to me? That's a joke. <sighs> well, on that note, let's freaking go into this person's house. Bye. And we go to this random house. I want this rug. Okay, so that was fun. Definitely fun. <laughs> but being a house in Nichols Hills comes Easy. with an expensive price tag. And the thing is, I am all for expensive price tags. That does not scare me away. I will invest lots of money in something that I deem good enough quality. But the stuff in there was not the quality that justified the price tag that it was at. Everything was 50% off. And even with the 50% off, like there was some art in there that was like marked at $650. So it would have been 325. And it was like, not even like a recognizable artist or it it was clearly very overpriced we did get two cute things i picked one thing out eric picked one thing out so we'll show you in the car what we got well i guess we can just show them right now this is what i got i got it solely for the frame i'm gonna deconstruct it and just put where that's upside down but it doesn't matter what's inside of it i just loved the frame and the matting on it i think it's so cool it's kind of like a silvery goldy kind of chrome look and I'm just gonna, we're doing a gallery wall in our bedroom with pictures of us and stuff. So I'm going to repurpose this. Eric, show them what you got. A little vase, Greek style vase. Um, I don't know what we're gonna do with these. Well, I know what we're gonna do with my thing. I don't know what we're gonna do with Eric's thing, but. Put it on a shelf. Yeah. Very unique item. We spent a total of $7, so amazing. Now we're hungry, so we're going to get some food. We're going to our fave pizza place in Oklahoma City Empire. First on the docket is uh, garlic knots, our favorite. Next up on the docket is my favorite store, <laughs> Furniture by Consignment. If you've been with us for a while, you've probably been to this store with us at least a few times. This is not Eric's favorite place, but he's being very nice and coming with me. Let's go. There's just so much to explore and find, you know what I mean? Like, look at that. Of course that's sold, but it's so fun. There are two things we like here. We love this light fixture for our dining room, but we're just not sure about measurements. And then there's a painting over here. I gotta show you, it's $500, so I'm not gonna buy it, even though I wanna buy it so bad. See, that Mona Lisa blowing bubbles. Are you freaking kidding me? So cute. Mm -hmm. But we're walking away because we don't really wanna drop $800 on those two things combined, so. <sighs> pains me a little because I really want that Mona Lisa. But here we go. We also really like this dog. <laughs> Isn't he cute? I don't know what we'd do with him, but he's like 250, I think, so yeah, crazy. Like we don't like him that much. All right, well, on to whatever's next. Second estate sale of the day. Let's do it. Let's do it. We'll see if we find anything good. I don't like to like film in people's houses because that's kind of weird. So I'll show you if we get a good haul. Oh, look, it says 50% off. <laughs> you guys, we just freaking scored. Sc 
scored. Let me just tell you. We just freaking scored. I'm, I'm wanting to go back for that Christmas tree. Okay, so, <laughs> geez Louise. We got so many frames for $6. Six frames to be exact. Six frames for $6, but like good frames, like frames that you would take to professionally get framed. Um, with random people's family pictures in them that we'll obviously replace with our own, but, and then we got, <sighs> okay, this is just like unbelievable a little bit. We got a Fitz and Floyd dishes set. Fitz and Floyd, my Jeej has a lot of Fitz and Floyd dishes. She has one specific set that's kind of Chinese looking. It's teal and gold and it's so beautiful. Well, the set that I got is green and gold and has some of that similar, you can hear it clanging back there, Chinese type look to it, design to it. They're beautiful. So the price tag said $195 and it was 50% off today, so it was $100. I popped my head out at the last second and said, will you do 50 on the Fitz and Floyd set? And she was like, yeah, I will. And I was like, <laughs> so the lady, I didn't tell you this, but the sweet lady that was doing checkout um, I told her, I was like, okay, they just said I could do the Fitz and Floyd set for 50. And she goes, the dishes? And I said, yep. And she goes, oh, good for you. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll show them to you when we get home. Well, I'm sure we'll have a big haul to show you, but I'm excited. That was a very, very good purchase. I'm glad we went at the last minute. And that's the thing about estate sales. You know, everybody goes like at the very beginning and it's crazy. And of course you miss good stuff when you don't go at the very beginning, but if you wait to go to the very end, they're cutting deals, you know, cause they want to be out. So I'm happy about the deal we just cut. Cause that really is, I mean, very, very expensive dishes. So, and we'll display them. If not all of them, then some of them, but I'm very happy about that purchase. Okay, so now we are at a place, what's it called? Broadway Marketplace, Ant something? Antique Mall. Antique Mall in Edmond. And I just have to give a shout out to Scrimpy here because I have been at a very exhausting work conference for the past couple of days. And I told him like, I don't have time to plan anything or research anything. I know we want to go antiquing and estate sailing. So you figure it out. And he did, he, he did a good job. So we're about to go into this little place and it looks adorable. I can't wait, I'm so excited. So good job, Scrimpy. He also doesn't feel very well. I feel great. <laughs> He's trying to pretend like he feels fine, even though I can tell he doesn't feel well. I feel great. Tell the people what's wrong with you. Nothing. I feel great. I got like some pressure going on right He's got to sign his stuff. So he's not, if he seemed subdued in this video, it's because he's trying to push through yeah, and not I'm, go home. Even though I tell him, let's go home. He's normally so vibrant and exuberant in these videos to begin with. Yeah, you are. Why'd you, you literally flinched from my touch, Justin. <laughs> we'll see how she treats me. He's a good trooper. We're probably gonna go home a little earlier than what we expected no. to, because he's not feeling good, but he's trying to be a trooper. There's what? a coffee shop across the street. Oh, that may be just the ticket. All right, in we go. All right, in we go to this first place. It's adorable. So cute, oh my gosh, so cute. I want this. I don't know why, I just want it. Like for our bar area, it's freaking hilarious. Don't you think that's hilarious? <laughs> It's $85. I don't know if I love it $85 worth, but I kind of think I do. Oh my dreams come true. Are you freaking kidding me? I need these. How much is this? Oh. Look how cool this is, you guys. It's like some sort of old movie board. It's like just a pegboard, but isn't that so cool? I love it. This is a very vast place. What did you just say, Eric? There's some haunted dolls for sale. Oy. Yeah, there is. Ay, ay, ay. We gotta get out of here. There's a hole upstairs, too. Oh my gosh. There's so much stuff. Oh, it's hot up here. We cannot be up here too long. I will literally have a heat stroke. Eric says we need to buy these. You know what these remind me of, Eric? Tarzan's parents. Okay, Scrimpy, tell them what happened in there. We bought a plate. We found something really cool. We'll show you again. The hall when we get home, but now we are going into this antiques market. Let's do it. In we go. Oh yeah, it's gonna be good. Okay, this place is bringing me immense joy. It is like booth after booth after booth. We're gonna be here a while perusing, but man, we've hit the jackpot. Nightmare fuel. Oh, that is nightmare <laughs> fuel. I kind of love it though. Is that weird? Yes. Okay, we have no place for this chair, but I love it. 
Look how beautiful it is. I don't care about those pillows, but also. Ever since our last Disney trip and I bought this fan in Epcot at the China Pavilion, I have pulled this thing out of my purse so many freaking times. It comes in handy like nothing else. People laugh at me. Oh, there's another one of those chairs. People laugh at me when I pull this out, but I get hot so often that it's just a time saver and there's no air pumping in this place. So once again, best $12 I ever spent. That's all I'm saying. What'd you find? A copper pot. That's cool. How much is it? $250. Jesus. That's cool. Scrimpy, what do you think about all these crazy dogs? Because I personally want them all. Want them all? <laughs> Even the one that's got them. a rabbit in his mouth? Oh, definitely not him. He's <laughs> freaky, but really this white one is what I'm really loving. Okay, Eric has found his new love. He's obsessed with all the copper things. How much is that one? 200. Crazy. Okay, look at that freaking wind chime. Or wind, what's that? Weather vane. Weather vane? Yeah, that's really cool. All this stuff in here, you guys, is so freaking cool. Why do I want that painting? I don't know. Oh my. Okay, look at these. I'm obsessed. They are different explanations in needlepoint or like printed fabric, I can't really tell, of English, the English subject, like interjection, article, preposition. These are freaking adorable. That'd be perfect in our bedroom. Look at this trunk, you guys. What the heck? That is incredible. Oh my gosh, we're already finding so many good things. <gasps> I love it all. Okay, look at this cool section. We picked out two posters. Got vintage posters. And we picked out two we really like. We'll show you when we get home, but oh my gosh. They're so, so fun. I keep trying to buy ducks and Eric won't let me buy ducks, but I found my perfect ducks that I want. I want them. I want the ducks. Should I get them? getting some good stuff, huh, Scrimp? All right, we are home and this is our really, really awesome haul. We got everything here for $5,000. Under $200, okay? This is crazy. So let me show you, let's go in chronological order, shall we? So to start, we already showed you, this is just a random picture of some random dude that I'm going to deconstruct, just cut it at the back and take it out and reframe it. I just loved the mat. I loved how funky the size was and I love the frame. It's just such a good frame. And I don't know if I said or not, but we are doing a gallery wall in our bedroom of just like personal pictures. And so I just bought this for that, it was $6. Scrimpy, show them up close what you got from the first estate sale. It's a Greco-Roman style vase, but it's tiny and it's blue and I liked it. Why did you like it? Because it's tiny and it's blue. Okay, thank you for sharing. So at the next estate sale, we really struck gold. So we got all these frames. I won't show you them up close. Well, I guess we can show them up close. This lovely family. We'll show them up close. We're not taking these pictures out, by the way. We're gonna hang We're them. We're just hanging them as is. The funny story behind all these frames that I'm, I'm just going to show you as we're talking is they were in- oh, Blake. <laughs> they were in the family pile. Just pay attention to the matting and the frames in these because that's what I like. Um, they were, I don't like the matting on this one. We're gonna do a different mat than this one, but they were just in a box and the estate sale people thought it was a family box, but the family didn't want them. And normally they take the pictures out, of course, and just sell the frames, but there was a miscommunication. So it was just there at the very end of the estate sale. And the lady was like, ooh, we totally forgot about those. Um, just pull out the ones you want and I'll cut you a deal. So boy ever did she cut us a deal because... This picture's from 1997. <laughs> all of these frames with very expensive matting, clearly, like look at this, are, they were a dollar each. So we got all these frames for, for a total of six dollars and they're, they're gonna be perfect for our gallery wall that we are making. And then I got the Fitz and Floyd finds of a freaking lifetime, you guys. So it's really two separate sets, but they kind of go together. So we have a set of just two little bowls, which I don't know why there were just two bowls, eight dinner plates, and then six cup and saucers, and then two little pepper and salt shakers, which I don't really care about those, but- That come with pepper salt, salt and pepper. Yeah, I know, we're gonna, that's gross. 
Uh, but the ones I was really drawn to, and I'll show you these up close as well. The green ones are just plain green. I love the color green that they are, but these are the ones I was really drawn to. And as you can see, they have them marked for $195, which in and of itself for the set is a really good price, but I talked her down to 50 bucks. So I'm very, very proud of that. So that was really the find of the day. Don't you agree, Scrimpy? Mm -hmm. He's so tired. <laughs> and then we went to an antique store. Here, you show the next thing, because you really like that one. Where we found this adorable, very like 1950s, 1960s-esque serving plate. plate. <laughs> show them like up close where the camera is. That's like a dad outside grilling. Um, just super cute. We're gonna put it somewhere in the kitchen. I don't really know yet, but it's so cute. We just couldn't pass it up. It was only 20 bucks, like what the heck? And then lastly, we went to the very fun, um, big, big, big antique mall where we could have bought so many things, you guys. Oh my gosh. But the things we bought were, I got this cute little duck. Eric finally let me get a duck and I love this one. It's brass. It's adorable. We got, the duck was $12. We got this amazing print. It just reminded me of like Regency era, like all the parties and Jane Austen and Bridgerton like. So I don't really know what we're going to do with this, but I just love it. It was $37. That's it. And then we got these two adorable like vintage style posters. Hold them down a little scrimp. That we just thought were really freaking cute. So I don't know where we're going to put them, but we're going to frame them. We're going to yeah. frame them and put them somewhere. Maybe together, maybe not together. I don't know. So that was our antiquing haul. Thanks for coming along with us. I'd say we were super freaking successful, wouldn't you? I would. What did I need to remember to do, Scrimpy? Smash likes, subscribe the video. The video? Subscribe the video. All right, we will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye! Bye.